Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Have you ever been so frustrated in OBS when you're wanting to separate all your audio, you know, from your game? You've got, I don't know, something on Google Chrome, like a YouTube tab open or something like that, and they've got your music on in the background, and all these different applications, Discord, and you want to separate all the audio. You've been using stuff like VoiceMeeter, or I've been using ASIO Link Pro. Well, there's actually a plugin that works directly inside of OBS. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, but my audio setup on my PC has been absolutely crazy. I even installing this ran into a few issues. So I'm going to make sure you guys don't run into any issues. It is super easy to get working. All right, let's get into it. Put your rock up with a stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Owned Pro is your only one solution for stream management. The free plan is packed full of features such as copyright free music, which is crazy. With the pro plan, you can get unlimited access to 600 plus overlays, which install directly into OBS with a single click. It's super easy. You can even save yourself 50% off using my code Andy50Pro and each purchase will support the channel as well. I'll leave all the links down in the description. Thank you very much, duckies. So the plugin that we're gonna be looking at today is Win Capture Audio. It actually came out a little while ago like i say i've been wanting to make this video for a bit um created by bozbez honestly this plugin is amazing it, it makes everything so straightforward from an audio perspective like i've not run into any issues since using it and controlling my audio has never been better honestly it is so amazing i'm going to show you a couple of tricks with this as well so let's get it downloaded and installed what you need to do is just head on over to the uh, obs forum page i'll leave the link in the description i'm going to press go to download and this is going to open up um, GitHub. So this is only available for Windows right now, hence Win Capture Audio because it's only using Windows. And this basically taps in to your Windows Audio uh, software. So you know when you go down to your little uh, your little uh, section down here, and you can see all your Windows devices. And then even if you right click and go to like say Volume Mixer, you can see all the different things that uh, actually on your mixer at the moment so if you've got like a tab that's got music on it basically anything that windows can register inside of its own system should work on this okay don't hold me to that because it might be a little bit different so basically it's just taking advantage of what windows does and you know how you can actually split your audio as well so if we go to sound settings uh, and open this up you'll probably see that you can actually manage all your sound devices and app volume and everything like that. So if we go to that, you can see how you can route all your audio around your computer for each different kind of program. Basically, this is gonna work, but just inside of OBS. So let's get it installed. So I'd always recommend using the EXE to download and install it. All you need to do is download the EXE and go next, next, next. You know how it is. Point to the location of where yours is installed. I'm going to download the zip uh, for now and show you where to install it manually. We can open that file up and that will actually have two folders in it. This data and OBS-plugins. We're just going to copy both of them. So we can copy and then you just need to go to where OBS is installed. So it's usually in your C drive and then either in program files or program files 86, mine's in program files and it's OBS-studio or lowercase and you can just paste it in there. Like I say, I do recommend using the EXEs when installing plugins, but if you use multiple versions of OBS like me, you'll have to know how to manually install, okay? Once that's done, we can open up OBS. So I've got a blank OBS just here. I'm going to open up a couple of different programs to show you the audio working, okay? So I'm going to use Discord as an example, and I'm also going to use a YouTube tab. So now I've got YouTube and uh, Discord open. I'm going to go to my settings in Discord so I can actually set up a uh, loopback so you can actually test if the audio is working. So my input device is just on um, default and my output is default as well. I'm going to press let's check. And now this is checking my microphone to make sure it's working. But that's actually playing through my speakers at the same time. So now in OBS, I can actually start adding these sources manually. So if I go to the plus sign on sources and we'll add in application audio output capture. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed the plugin correctly, okay? So go back a few steps, get it installed. And then open that up and I'm going to call this one, uh, we'll call it Google Chrome for now because that's what I'm going to be using for this. Press OK. 
And if you've used the um, the window capture uh, source, you will have seen this kind of thing previously. Uh, this is basically what you want to capture audio-wise. Usually the defaults like this are absolutely fine. You'll know whether or not you need to change it for what you are using. It's just all about how it matches what's open. So if it's a certain website and things like that, then you can make it only match when that's on. Uh, different things like that. But normally I just have mine split up anything in Chrome, anything in like Discord, anything in any other audio software as well. And I'll post it through there. So this one's going to be Google Chrome. So I can see Chrome.exe, Runaway Widow is being played just there on YouTube. I'm going to select that and you can see it's coming through already. You're not going to be able to hear that on the video uh, for obvious reasons. I just didn't want it to blow, blow your brains out. So I'm going to press OK. And you'll be able to see that this is actually Google Chrome. I can turn this up and down. There's no other audio coming through there. Okay. So I can add in another source now doing the same thing. We add an application audio output capture. And this time I'm going to call it Discord. And then we're going to capture a specific window. This is exactly the same for if it's a game as well. Like if you've got an EXE of a game open, you can do the exact same thing. So I'm going to select Discord and you'll probably see every time that I'm actually talking, you'll see that this is going up and down. If I go silent, you can see that Google Chrome is still playing in the background. So right now it's took me two minutes and I've separated Discord and Google Chrome. So that's pretty much all there is to that plugin. Pretty much anything that's inside of Windows and it's being captured by Windows, you can put directly into OBS and split it. And to be honest, there's barely any latency. It's really, really useful. There are a few limitations, like if you're, say, using some music software or something like that, like a digital audio workstation, uh, a DAW, uh, you'll basically know that, well, hopefully you'll know that it might use like ASIO and stuff like that, depending on the drivers and how audio is rooted in your select program. But if you obviously know about that, you should know that that is going to work and you should know a little bit about rooting audio around your computer. Uh, and that's the only limitations that I've kind of found at the moment. If there's any applications that you've noticed that don't work, please let me know in the comments below uh, as well. And obviously feed it back to the developers too. But I'll show you a cheeky little uh, secret that I kind of learned um, by accident. So a really useful thing about uh, voice meter is that you can have different audio levels for you and the stream really easy on little audio sliders. But say if I put this on maximum, this Google Chrome one, I'm just going to mute the Discord one for now. Uh, so you can see it's on here. But if I say turn it up by going to my volume mixer, if I turn this up and down, this is my output of it. It's actually turning it up and down on here as well, as you can see, which we don't want. So if I turn that to zero, because I want to mute it, for instance, the stream can't hear it now. So I'm going to leave it on max and I'm going to show you a cheeky little hint. So this is why I left all my voice meter cables installed, because I can change my output to something I'm not using, like voice meter input, for instance. I'm not using it for anything at all. So I'm going to select that. And then now if I turn my speakers up, I can't hear anything coming through at all. So what I can do is use Exceldo's audio monitor plugin. So if I go to this little cog here on the audio I want to put it on and go to filters, I can add the audio monitor plugin like so, press OK. And then the output, I can send it anywhere I want. So I can send it to my speakers. And then now you'll be able to hear that a little bit. So I can turn that up and down here. And you'll see, as I turn that up and down, it's not affecting the stream's audio. But this is actually affecting my monitor of it. And it's not, that there's barely any delay. It's really, really useful. Uh, and you can obviously put that into its own mixer as well, which is really cool. So if I close that, I right click, and I can add in a audio monitor, like so. Put this down here, and I can have it wherever I want. Dock it. I've done a full video on the audio monitor plugin which you'll be able to have a look at as well. As you can see, now I've got my monitor here, which as I turn up and down, it's not affecting the stream. The stream can have a different audio as well. But the way that that is working is we have to make sure it's not being doubled up by changing the output, if that makes sense. And you can do that across all of your things that you want to monitor. And it means that you can have completely different audio levels to your stream. And it's all just directly inside of OBS. No other 
third party software and things like that you just have to have obs open which is super useful and then even if you've not got obs open i used to find problems with voice meter sometimes and monitoring but all i gotta do is change my output device back to my default output device so when we go down here i can just change it back to my default device which is my speakers and then that's it everything goes back through the speakers easy as that so so good such a great plugin so make sure you do leave a review for bozbez on there all right guys if you do have any questions i do reply to all comments on the youtube channel so just fire them down below if you want to support me then consider joining patreon or channel members just here all right and yeah i'll see you in the next one all right put your rock by the stone much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.